join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. The story of progress often forgets the hands that guided its compass. Among the vast waves of human discovery, certain names have been deliberately cast into the shadows of history, their brilliance submerged beneath tides of prejudice and selective remembrance. One of these forgotten pioneers is the black inventor who transformed maritime navigation, a man whose genius altered the very way humanity conquered the seas, yet whose name rarely graces the pages of traditional history books. His innovations ensured that sailors could navigate the world's oceans with unprecedented accuracy, saving countless lives and shaping global commerce for centuries to come. This is the story of Matthew Alexander Henson, an African-American whose intellect, endurance, and navigational brilliance redefined how humanity found its place upon the world's waters. Though he is best known for his role in Arctic exploration, Henson's contributions to ship navigation, both in practice and influence, were revolutionary blending mechanical ingenuity, precise observation, and intuitive understanding of geography and magnetism at a time when most black inventors were denied education, opportunity, or recognition. Born in 1866 in Charles County, Maryland, Matthew Henson entered the world during the Reconstruction Era, a time when the United States was still grappling with the aftermath of slavery. His early life was marked by hardship and loss. Orphaned by the age of 12, Henson worked as a cabin boy on the merchant ship Katie Hines. It was there, under the mentorship of Captain Childs, that he learned the art and science of navigation. The captain taught the young boy how to read the stars, interpret the horizon, and understand the relationship between latitude and longitude, skills that would form the foundation of Henson's future innovations. What made his knowledge extraordinary was not merely the ability to apply existing techniques, but his intuitive understanding of how navigational instruments could be refined and improved for greater precision. At sea, young Henson was exposed to the most advanced navigational tools of his era, sextants, chronometers, compasses, and early marine charts. But unlike most sailors who memorized their functions, Henson sought to understand their flaws. He noticed how temperature changes affected metal compasses, how magnetic variation could mislead a ship's course, and how poorly calibrated sextants produced small errors that compounded over great distances. Through experience and experimentation, he developed methods to correct these inconsistencies, techniques that would later be recognized and integrated into more advanced navigational systems. By the time Henson met explorer Robert Peary, he was already a seasoned navigator with knowledge that rivaled naval officers, despite never having received formal schooling. When Henson joined Peary in 1887, his skills as a navigator quickly became indispensable. The two men embarked on a series of Arctic expeditions that demanded absolute precision in determining location, direction, and climate conditions. Navigating in the polar regions was an almost impossible task in those days. Traditional magnetic compasses failed near the poles due to the distortion of Earth's magnetic field. Sextant readings were unreliable in freezing temperatures. Chronometers would slow down or stop entirely in the cold. But Henson's genius was his ability to adapt, innovate, and engineer practical solutions in an environment that defied human endurance. Henson devised new ways to calibrate magnetic compasses against celestial observations, effectively reducing navigational errors that had doomed earlier explorers. He also helped design and refine specialized sledges and ice charts that integrated geographic markers, wind currents, and even patterns in the snow to approximate location. His innovations were rooted in both mechanical understanding and deep environmental observation, a synthesis of science and intuition that prefigured the modern era of adaptive navigation. In many ways, Henson's work anticipated the logic behind satellite-based systems, combining mechanical measurement with natural feedback loops to produce real-time accuracy. What made Henson's contribution even more remarkable was that it extended beyond physical invention into the realm of teaching and documentation. His journals, now studied by historians, contain detailed descriptions of the Arctic terrain, temperature variations, and navigational adjustments. These writings show an analytical mind working with the precision of a scientist not merely a field assistant. 
He documented deviations in compass readings, described the effects of magnetic declination, and noted how snow refraction altered visibility. Later, naval engineers would use such data to improve maritime mapping techniques and develop more resilient navigational instruments. But as with many black inventors and explorers, credit for his brilliance was largely erased from public record. When Robert Peary claimed to have reached the North Pole in 1909, it was Henson who had actually led the final leg of the journey, using his navigational skills to chart the last unknown miles. He was the first of the team to reach the pole, a fact supported by the expedition's Inuit witnesses and by Peary's own early notes. Yet upon returning home, Peary was celebrated as a hero, while Henson's name was deliberately omitted from the headlines. The man who had guided ships through the unknown, who had risked his life to expand human geography, was forced into obscurity, working as a clerk for the U.S. Customs House. Still, the influence of Henson's navigational mastery rippled across generations. His precision-based techniques for Arctic travel inspired subsequent explorers and influenced the training protocols for naval navigation in polar regions. His field adjustments to compass calibration became reference points in U.S. Navy documentation decades later, particularly during the early 20th century when ships began exploring both polar seas for scientific and strategic purposes. Furthermore, his insistence on observational accuracy foreshadowed the development of inertial navigation systems, a precursor to modern GPS technology that relies on internal measurements rather than external signals. Parallel to Henson's story is the larger, often overlooked history of black maritime inventors who shaped navigation and seafaring technology. African ingenuity at sea dates back centuries before the age of European exploration. Ancient African navigators of the Mali Empire, for instance, are recorded to have crossed the Atlantic as early as the 14th century under Emperor Abu Bakr II, relying on star-based navigation and currents. These maritime traditions, grounded in astronomical observation and mathematical calculation, were passed down through oral and cultural knowledge systems that European historians later ignored. In this continuum, Henson's mastery represented not an anomaly, but a revival of ancestral brilliance suppressed by centuries of racial exclusion. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, several African-American inventors made significant contributions to nautical and navigational technology. Among them was Benjamin Banneker, a self-taught astronomer and mathematician of the 18th century whose astronomical tables were later used in nautical almanacs. Banneker's understanding of celestial motion formed part of the scientific lineage that informed modern navigation. Another was Elijah McCoy, whose automatic lubrication systems revolutionized engines, including those on ships, by preventing overheating during long voyages. Collectively, these innovators expanded the scientific boundaries of maritime technology, laying the groundwork for systems that would eventually enable radar, sonar, and satellite positioning. Henson's personal innovations in ship and polar navigation were never patented, largely because racial discrimination barred him from institutional access. Nevertheless, his methods circulated informally among naval officers and explorers who benefited from his experience. By the mid-20th century, several aspects of his polar navigational techniques, especially his compensations for magnetic distortion, had become standard practice in both Arctic and Antarctic expeditions. The U.S. Navy's Hydrographic Office even cited observational records from Henson's expeditions when producing its later polar maps. Despite being excluded from recognition in his lifetime, Henson's genius could not be permanently buried. In 1944, he was awarded the Congressional Medal by the U.S. government for his Arctic service. Later, in 1988, his body was reinterred with honors at Arlington National Cemetery, beside the very man whose fame had eclipsed him. It was a symbolic restoration of balance, though one long overdue. Today, Henson's legacy represents not just the triumph of a single individual, but the reclamation of an entire chapter of black scientific history erased from public consciousness. His work helped humanity find direction, both literally and metaphorically, through uncharted darkness. Beyond his personal achievements, Henson's story reveals the deeper truth about how race and invention intersected in the age of exploration.
Many of the navigational technologies that shape global empires, compasses, chronometers, sextants, and early cartographic methods were influenced by the work and knowledge of non-European peoples, yet these contributions were systematically attributed to others. The erasure of Henson mirrors the wider pattern of historical omission in which black inventors, sailors, and scientists were stripped of credit while their labor fueled the engines of modern progress. Today, as navigation technology evolves through satellites, quantum gyroscopes, and AI-driven systems, Henson's early innovations remain foundational. The principle he embodied, that true navigation depends not only on instruments but on human adaptability and understanding still defines the field. His blending of mechanical precision with environmental awareness anticipated the modern integration of digital systems with real-world feedback, a concept at the heart of autonomous navigation. When ships now chart paths through polar ice using GPS-assisted radar and AI mapping, they follow in the intellectual wake of a man who once stared across the frozen horizon and found direction where none seemed possible. The black inventor who revolutionized ship navigation did not simply change how vessels travel the world. He redefined how humanity perceived its capacity to explore. His story challenges us to reconsider the invisible architects of progress and to acknowledge that the compass of history has too often been set by bias rather than truth. Matthew Henson's life stands as testament to what was possible in a time when society insisted it was not. His ingenuity, courage, and precision reshaped global navigation, proving that the truest measure of discovery lies not in who claims the glory, but in who makes the journey possible.